Hi everyone, today's video is about the modern chicken and egg problem, getting your first professional internship. I'm sure you've seen all across the internet, the meme, the very famous meme. You need experience to get experience and in order to get experience, you need a job that gives you that experience. So it makes finding your first job a very tricky problem. Fortunately, I was able to get my first internship at the world's largest telematics company five months into university. You did not have to say it like that. I think what I'm planning to do with this video is to give people a little bit of insight on what I did in my first year within that, within that time frame, of course, and also hopefully give people a few tips on what they can do at any stage of their careers to land an internship. Let's talk about strategy. I thought about every single internship cycle like it was an MBA season. The ultimate prize, the internship, was the MBA championship and I could divide my efforts into the playoffs and the regular season, right? The playoffs was where I had to perform my best, which I list on the screen. The regular season was the general daily habits that I, that I had every single, pretty much every single day that helped me qualify to the playoffs and perform well in the playoffs. Let's talk about the spicy stuff. Let's talk about the playoffs. Let's talk about me winning at a hackathon and somehow converting this to an internship. A hackathon is generally like a coding competition which spans across like two days or two or three days. People generally don't sleep. You have like a team of people just like coding and building up a product. Like the company I work for rather that was sponsoring a hackathon which was large hackathon in Montreal and I was able to kind of reach out to them and get a little bit more information about the a challenge that they were having. I was able to kind of build a product with my team. I was able to demo this product and we actually ended up winning that specific challenge. I was just trying to work this out in my head and I was like, third years and fourth years are gonna have the age factor going out for them well. They're gonna have the fact that they probably have more knowledge than me. But what I have right now with this Hackathon Victory is a very specific demonstration of an interest to this company that a lot of people might not have. You know, like I've used that technology to build a specific product and I've won a challenge that's sponsored by that specific company. If, in my head, I was like, you know, this is the greatest way, this is one of the greatest ways rather to communicate interest to a company. And the takeaway through all of this is that if you get involved in hackathons or la rather just competitions in general, you know, where things are sponsored by certain companies or a company has a very good vested interest in that specific event. If you go to events in general that like give you an avenue to show very specific interest in a company, definitely take up that opportunity. You don't always have to win at these competitions or whatever. But if you go in and show demonstrated interest and you follow up on that interest, you are definitely going to differentiate yourself from the rest of the applicants who are just gonna be like sending cold applications to recruiters. The second very important step in the playoff process was to actually post this achievement, this specific achievement on LinkedIn. And it might not seem like a big deal, but it was actually the kickstart of like a very deeper relationship with that I had with the company and like the people in the company. People in the company, when I actually started interning there, remembered me through the post. They actually was like, oh, like you're the kid that won this thing at this event. Another way in which I was able to a, communicate my interest to the company and B, build a network, an online presence on LinkedIn, you know, to be like a familiar face, be someone who's actually achieved something and like has something to show for it. It actually kind of kickstarted like my growth on LinkedIn and it, it helped me be more comfortable with myself too because it's very easy to feel super out of place in a new industry. The third step in this process was actually landing the interview. The way I kind of did it is obviously I did all of the prerequisites to like, you know, just express interest in the company because that was important for me to just build like a relationship with them. But I specifically asked them and expressed interest in the software developer internship position. They ended up like sending me like the application and I was able to kind of apply. And obviously I was, I was a standout candidate in, in comparison to everyone else because I A, reached out to the recruiters and like communicated my interest to them. And I already had like, the competition and like the social media stuff uh, on, on my back anyways. So they were happy to actually interview me and they kind of gave me the position and they tried their best to see, they, they tried their best to see the best in me. And I was very glad to, and very grateful to be in that position because they actually gave me a chance to flourish and my, what I do today and what I've like, what I, how I carry myself at work today is all because of that company. And I really, really like appreciate it. So I was able to like, 
express my interest and i was rewarded for it so make sure you ask because if you don't ask opportunities don't like just come onto your lap because like it's just, just just doesn't happen that way the next phase the final phase was actually succeeding in the interview i was new to software engineering interviews i read this book called cracking the coding interview i'm sure there's like equivalence for each industry and things like that but the takeaway with like my efforts and things like that is that like i really prioritized the interview like i didn't leave it as like this background thing it was actually the main thing for me and that was the philosophy i carried across university i was rewarded for it because you know the content was difficult for me like initially especially i'm so glad i put in the number of hours i did in order to prepare for the interview so i was able to kind of succeed through just dedicating a lot of time and respecting my competition and respecting the process let's talk about the regular season first thing that kind of comes to mind was building skills outside the classroom because if i didn't build skills outside the classroom i wouldn't be able to perform at hackathons i wouldn't be able to answer interviews i wouldn't be able to do all those things actually spending time and carving time out outside my classroom to build certain skills in my case it was programming skills but in another person's case it would be a completely different skill set is is rather a very important process regardless of what stage we are in with our, with our careers in school for example like if you're a computer science student i'm just taking taking like a ca student as example you'd be learning java for like 4 months and if you if if in my case i was just going to rely on my java knowledge for 4 months i was probably not going to get an interview because i wouldn't you can't just build projects and you can't build stuff out by just knowing java you know like maybe you can be a small part of the process but you you'll not be you aren't versatile enough so being able to acquire new skills and understand how to acquire new skills fast because that's an art in itself right is a very important uh, important process so don't wait till the school or the institution or the class that you're taking gives you these skills if you want to acquire these skills like go out and get it it's the digital world skills are completely out there for free <laughs> make sure you you step out and get those skills because that 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 that's a huge game changer the second regular season activity that i took part in was building out side projects a side project i think generally would be just something that you create which involves the skills that are needed for your dream role for me if i want to be a software engineer i'd love to build out web applications mobile applications and like you know use the theory that i learned in class in order to make those applications efficient i'll actually host them like put it on a website or like you know make it live so that my recruiters and people who are interested in you know hiring me could actually see it. which is what i did in my first year i was i was able to just build some stuff out through hackathons and through competitions and just like on my own i was able to like make either the code public or like the project public and my you know when i was getting interviewed and stuff i was able to answer questions about it and that was a very very interesting part of this entire process being able to talk about the work you did because that work is stuff that you are very very familiar with and it also shows your practical experience as opposed to just like shoving a bunch of theory in your head you actually create stuff right and you actually put your analysis to work on a very practical level and this doesn't need to like be limited to just software engineers you know it can it can you know if you're a marketing student you can do like general analysis of things and just like either host it up on the internet you can produce content on it people can produce content on anything and you can put it on your resume because it it, it shows people your interest and it also shows that maybe other people are tuning into your ideas too you could be a research student and you could be like you know contributing to a research project you could be a writer and you could be by publishing stuff and like you know getting getting feedback on that and being able to show these things being able to communicate these things that you that you're interested that you get taking part in things and that you're actually playing a role in the industry and in the promotion of the industry is a very very strong tool in your arsenal so i think i did that successfully and i was able to you know succeed in my interview cycles and um, eventually get the internship the next thing was extra curricular activities it is also kind of involves needing experience to get experience right so for me in my very first year like i applied to all the best club best like tech clubs in the school and i got rejected <laughs> like no one really wanted me so i was actually looking at uh, the blockchain club in our school and like there was no open position there but i actually reached out to the president and i explained to him you know these are the kind of things i worked on and like i'm interested in contributing to the club because i was actually interested in like blockchain technology i actually built up built up projects with blockchain so i actually communicated to him that i'm interested in it and there was no real open position 
but he said he was he was that was an official position but he was like you know what we we actually need a developers and we we are always looking out to developers that are interested so since you reached out you can you can find like a, pl- a place in which you can contribute uh, as soon as i landed the role as like a developer in the blockchain club my recruiter saw it and this actually ended up being super favorable for me in the interview process they understood that i'm constantly working on my skills i'm constantly looking to upgrade and like get involved even in like my school community when when they actually gave me the offer they mentioned uh, my my involvement with bo- blockchain and magic getting involved with blockchain and magic actually helped me get other extra curricular into other extra curricular clubs and things like that and i ended up in my third year ended up being the google developer student club lead the other thing is networking and getting involved with events the main thing when it comes to like networking and getting involved with events is that we understand the language of the industry a little bit better because you know i used to go to events pretty much like every other day you know i'd go to cloud event i'll go to some sort of like builder even like there's all sorts of events for all sorts of like industries and interests and things that there's all sorts of meet up related events and and things like that and i was just there i was listening to people and sometimes like i wasn't i wasn't like a big part of the event you know i was pretty much in the background but in my first year i was able to just like grasp a little bit about what this industry is looking for and what the people in the industry is made out of getting those nerves out of your system you know where like you you're able to talk to these really impressive people and you realize that they're actually nice you know they're not like going to tell you to like get out of the room or anything you know being able to actually like go up to people and like communicate with these impressive people and like ask them good questions like having that skill and being a familiar face i think that's what networking is being a familiar face so being able to do that and being able to get involved in the community and like once again continuously communicate interest so yeah that's pretty much the end of the video and uh, i'm i'm glad and very happy if you got to this stage please do subscribe if you like this kind of content um i'm definitely planning to pivot to this like subject finding internships finding jobs and things like that um i think it's a very difficult topic it's it's you know and we it's a skill that we need to have at different stages of our lives and different stages of the economy honestly you know these days it's a it's a very t- tough time to find jobs so don't be hard on yourself but um we can definitely stack the deck uh in our favor i hope you have a good day and i hope this video was helpful